Shay, we go. We have Nush versus Nupo. A continuation, maybe, of the streak that Nush has been on. And it is quite the testament to his streak that he gets himself a match here today against Nupo. Because you don't just get anybody playing Nupo. You have to be one of the best of the best, as he was really one of the top performers in the last Salt Mine. He played some of the best 1v1 we saw out of anybody. He didn't end up taking an event, but he was right there with Moxie and Nas and Zen, Rawas, the guys who were all topping the EU server assault mine. And the fact that Nush has taken down Moxie in his previous match, a match I highly recommend checking out if you haven't already. That is what's gotten him here in this match today. Can he handle the likes of Nupo? Nupo is a whole different beast when it comes to 1v1, especially when you compare him to Moxie. Because Moxie is the kind of guy that plays like many 1v1ers do. You know, if you've played a lot of ranked 1v1, if you've played against a ton of different opponents, you've probably seen someone who plays at least similar to Moxie. Now, no one does it as well as Moxie does, if you ask me. But you can have some, you know, insight on what's to come. Nupo, you never know. <laughs> You absolutely never know, and you haven't seen someone who's played as fast as him. You may think that you've played somebody as fast as him, but when you hop in the lobby with him, you realize there are some serious adjustments to be made. And Nupo is off to a 3-0 start. The prediction looks like it might still be open as people seem to be pouring more and more points. Yeah, the, the submissions just got ended into Nupo's camp. And for good reason, the way he started this match, he pre-flips out to get another reset. Nush wasn't expecting so much movement off of that shot. Nupo playing alongside Rule 1. I don't know if we've had Nupo on since he joined Rule 1. And you might be thinking, if you haven't been watching their LCS, maybe you're just a 1v1 fan, that he's playing alongside the Twins, Rolas and Kaliris, but he's actually not playing alongside Khaled and Ahmad. Oh, nice fake. Nupo has Nush on the ropes. Nush dropping a nice one, and it could get ugly here. With a minute in, Nupo showing everything he has in his arsenal to take down Nush. Like I said, Nush definitely, oh my goodness. <laughs> Nupo's in free play. <laughs> Nupo is just in free play, and Nush wants to go next. I, I've mentioned how I've never seen a zero score line for anybody in a 1v1 game, except for when there are forfeits. And this one was so bad that, wait, maybe, uh, maybe Nupo wants to get a mid-game pogo. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, he didn't respond to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, uh, normally we reserve those for the end of the series, but we had so much time. <laughs> we'll just give Nupo game number one. By the way, it's a best of seven. It's a best of seven. The overlay I forgot to update. Uh, that was just game one win and a best of seven for Nupo. Game number two, Nush and Nupo. Nush has to turn things around. Could really do for a kickoff win here that he converts into some kind of offense. But instead, he's forced to play defense again after dropping six goals in a minute against Nupo in game number one. He is going to evade the bump pressure, and Nupo was not able to connect on that attempt. So now Nush, great read. What a shot from Nush. No, Nupo has a save. He drops a what a save. And that was a well-deserved what a save. This is a really unfortunate sign for Nush going forward, who played a great attack, adjusted to Nupo on the backboard, gave the ball an extra touch, got around him, and then somehow Nupo was able to deny the double as well, which is really just hard to believe he was able to do it. And man, did Nush need that goal. That was exactly what Nush needed. A pop-off to start game one to put him, or sorry, game two. Look at that. There we go. He's still got it. He found a way to get his momentum going. I say momentum. I mean, really, it's just a nice attempt that got counterattacked. And that shot, though, is filthy as he ties it up. Still two solid plays. I think Nush is not going to be too bummed about the fact that he, got that, that he had that first attempt saved. I think really what matters and what's happened here for Nush He's shown he's mechanically on point and that he's not backing down. He's not scared of Nupo. He's willing to try and, you know, attack him in the air despite having such a tough time in game number one. Will he be able to stick in it here in game number two as he's going to get demoed? Nupo 
Didn't even go for the boost steal. He'd rather just take Nush off the map. Has a reset, uses it. Oh, just barely off the crossbar and out. Dupo with perfect precision so far up until that shot, really, as he's using that wave dash on the sidewall. This is the first person I've seen use that dash up the curve as much as Dark, or at least probably still not as much as Dark, but more than the average player. And it's no surprise that it's Nupo who's always trying to break the limits of speed in Rocket League. Slow play actually tried to get Nush flying past the net. So credit to Nush. Some solid defending to not get exposed there. Nupo again trying to win with speed. This time a power shot does not connect. And Nush has had to play defense almost the entire series. And the fact that he's able to slow Nupo down two minutes in to this game. And it's only a counterattack goal for Nupo. Every attack he's taken while Nush has been in net, he's been able to stop. He wants a pogo. He actually got it. But Nupo backflipped high enough to still get his hitbox on the ball. Nush, nice fake. Got Nupo jumping off the back wall and then put it behind him. Jumping here and that is when Nupo started to react and prepare for the shot that never came. And so a 2-1 lead for Nush, but a complete reversal over how the previous game went, which looked like we were just in store for a, a Nupo free play session. And here is another, you know, this is the reason why Nupo made that game look so ridiculous is he wasn't missing ever. He's missed twice now on some of those aerial takes and to be fair you know most humans do but he was a robot in game number one and that's why Nush wanted out. <laughs> that's why Nush wanted out you know I think before they even allow you to forfeit in ranked. He, he just wanted out of there. Dupo not the best setup decides to bail out of it. Now headed to the side wall yeah Nush just going to be able to take it away and a clean half flip off the wall and a great fakes has Nupo in the air and he cannot adjust. Nupo grabbing this boost and pre-jumping. He tried to use his flip to stop him because he was going so aggressively past the space where he thought the ball was headed. And what, I'm, what I mean to say that is he wasn't attacking through the trajectory of the ball, meaning he could make contact at any time. He was attacking like across where he was expecting the ball to be which means he had to use a flip to try and pause himself there instead of flying past, and he actually just used it what looked like slightly too early, so Nush was able to find a way around it still. As Nupo, he is a menace around the net. So quick, and eventually gets a second goal. He is inside the net here, but he is back out, wave dashing onto the corner as he pops the ball, and gets himself back out to the midfield for his second goal. Dupo, another kickoff win. Decides to just play the possession. Got undercut, though, and Nush is going to get a goal from it. Dupo, or he should get a goal. Yes, he does. Dupo didn't even for a moment entertain attacking the net. And he didn't seem to rush to the opposite corner either. He just felt like maybe he had gained enough respect that Nush wasn't going to try and challenge him there, but he was wrong. As Dupo gets a reset wave dash. Looking for a demo. We've seen him catch a demo a couple times, but even if he doesn't get the demo, he does force Nush off the ball. Nice reset. Dupo has played the majority of the offense. Even though Nush is up 4-3, it doesn't mean that you know he's been pinning Nupo back ever. He's really just been handling defensively and converting the couple times that Nupo has made mistakes. Dupo sending this one to the crossbar and was showing that he was ready to race out to the ball if he had to. But as soon as he saw Nush not coming to challenge, he tried to bail out of that. He did a decent job. Nush is going to get a demo and playing this infield on a roller. The hook shot <laughs> shows you how it doesn't have to be crazy. Considering how it's been in this 1v1 so far with everybody attacking with multiple resets at ceiling heights, you can also just rip a hook shot off the respawn. And that's really, really tough to stop as well. Nush, kickoff goal. Gonna make it 6-3. I have a feeling that nobody would have believed this game number two after watching game one. I know I was <laughs> getting a little worried for Nush 
after he didn't score a goal and it was literally just a clip farm for Nupo. But here he is, three goals up with 33 seconds. Nupo has still been dictating the position to the plays. It's really been Nush almost, you know, reacting and playing against what Nupo wants, but he's done a good job of it. He's going to get this save. Nupo cannot force another one in as Nush just waits camped inside the net. Is able to stop him from getting within two. Nupo, quick wave dash and a flick for what could have been the final goal, but maybe there will be one more with a second left to go. It's not going to matter. It's going to be a Nush win either way. These guys... Oh no, Nush does not have an anime profile picture. I feel like I've seen Nupos a ton though. I feel like chat has maybe even taught me who it is. The ball will hit the ground as Nush ties the series one to one. It's Zen. Does Zen also have it? Why do I feel like Diaz has one as well? It's from Demon Slayer. Uh... Game number three. What do we have in store? I've talked about it before that a lot of times in these series, as they feel each other out, sometimes games one and two will actually be big wins for each player as Nush fakes and goes low. But I'll tell you what, I was not expecting that after Nupo's game one win. The Nush bounce back is real though. As he threatens the high shot, able to sneak it underneath Nupo. A lot of that has to do with kickoff control. As Nush forces this back into the blue half. But all he's going to be able to do is grab corner boost. He does get this save and ends Nupo's possession at one shot. Steal his back corner, so he's playing on pads now, but not the easiest position for Nush to control the ball. Has a reset. Looks like he tried to wait as long as possible, see if he could bait Nupo in and then use it, but Nupo stayed patient away from the play. Nupo... Forced to back off again after trying to find a way through Nush's defenses. Nush really likes these flicks where his back wheels are touching the ground as he launches them. And I can't say, oh, what a save. I can't say that I've seen, you know, a ton of extra power or anything from them just yet. Obviously, he flubbed that one. Great save, though. Back the other way into the crossbar. Made sure he could control it. Sending the ball or crossbar down. What a pre-flip. He didn't even use any of his 23 boosts, too. He had a little bit of boost, but decides to not use it at all. In fact, he's crazy with the boost preservation right now. Nupo comes to dive, tries to stay on ball again, and finally he uses his 23 boost in order to send the ball all the way out to the midfield. In fact, Nupo's going to take it back to the orange wall. So Nush being so patient on the goal line, and now he's just going to get scored on. <laughs> Nupo attacks over and over and over from inches outside the net, but of course it's when he goes all the way to his own back wall that he gets a double reset shot and scores. <laughs> Wait, I know what Demon Slayer is. If you're going, ah, even though he has no idea what Demon Slayer is. I know what Demon Slayer is. Demon Slayer is one of the, the couple that I've watched some episodes from. Um, obviously, since all these top 1v1 players are into anime, you'd be silly to not, you know, check a couple out to see if any Rocket League skill rubs off. Uh, and Demon Slayer was one of the ones I watched a couple episodes from, but never stuck with it. Nush demoed on the sidewall. Now Nupo has a bit of space. Nush tried to close that space, and then he won't try to go back on his decision, and that's why he gets beat. He went back and forth here, wanted to close the distance, decided not to challenge, turned, shadowed, and then full 360 on that power slide, all the way to the point where he's turned back towards the ball, which you don't really have time to do that. You can't go back and forth that many times. He's pretty much forced to shadow from that position. See what you can make of it. Nush trying to force Nupo off the corner. Boost actually wasn't respawning for either of them anyways. Nupo should be working on only really a couple pads. He's going to launch the ball to the back wall. Stick around in order to pull some boost out of Nush. What a smooth catch. Unbelievable catch and flick. Nupo able to make the save. I mean, that was 
sticky glue from Nush on the ball to somehow catch that without any bounce off the landing, but this pre-flip save isn't going to cut it. Nupo will follow it back up. Nupo popping this high. Nush just going to pre-jump and float there, and Nupo brings it to him. Now trying to chase down a demo. Somehow he didn't get it. And I'm not surprised that he just gave up. Because I don't blame him for going all in. This felt like it was going to be a demo. Oh, hey, wait, there's sparks coming off the car. What is that? Did you guys see what I just saw? Nush at definitely supersonic and sparks coming off of Nupo's car because seemingly they made contact, but apparently not enough. Nupo looking for the pinch, doesn't get it. Nush running out of time to get some offense here. And there is one of those flicks. Nupo's going to toss him a nice one. It's not quite as egregious as he's done them in the past where he keeps those back wheels on the ground, but you can see almost waiting until he makes contact before launching the flick. And I should have watched it from Nupo's perspective to see just how much stronger it is, or maybe it's a little bit trickier because it looks like the player is going to land. Flick might come late. But I wanted to show you guys what I meant by Nush putting those back wheels on the ground. He's going to pass to himself off the ceiling. What a strong reset, my goodness. It makes it so that it's impossible for him to get back to the ball, but it's an impressive bit of power. Counterattack, though. Keeps the lead at three for Nupo. And a lead that's going to be tough to fight him against with only a minute 20 left. Nupo out of the back corner. Falling far off the ball in the resets. Decides to go for the 50, and Nush has had enough. He wants to go next. Nupo, he is one of the guys who has farmed more goals than anyone else by getting those resets and then just using his car to 50 instead of taking them. We'll see if he sticks with that strategy in the air going forward. It's a freestyle mechanic. It's not widely used because it takes too long to set up, but apparently not if you're Nush. Oh, is that right? Well, I mean, it's 1v1. You have a little bit more space. Game number four, 2-1 in favor of Nupo. It is not a best of seven, or sorry, not a best of five. It is a best of seven that these guys agreed to play. And Nush maybe seeing the future, seeing that he's going to need some time to get going. Pick seven, and oh my goodness, Nush. This shot to the corner is unlike anything I've seen before. Instantly uses the flip to not follow the ball up in the air. Instead, keep himself level with where the ball was headed off the ceiling directly into another reset and a finish into the top right. It is, it's, it's insane. It's insane to be able to make that kind of read to know exactly where the ball is heading. And Nush manages to do it. Then he gives up a free goal for Nupo as Nupo just casually dodges the demo and takes his open net. Nush now all the way from the back corner. Probably needed to carry that a bit more. Decided to go for the reset, didn't really get it clean, and then you could tell just panicking. Didn't feel like he had control. And so thought for sure the ball was going to get taken from him. Instead, he just ends up leaving it over to Nupo. And Nupo continues to farm, grabbing the reset and then just protecting the ball. He really likes these 50s. In this case, he's also set himself up to land really quickly. So there was never a chance of Nush getting back to stop him. Nupo, quick flick off a kickoff win. And despite Nush's hot start to this game, it's still a 3-1 lead for Nupo. Nupo, air dribble bump, Nush gets around it, but couldn't get a really clean touch on the ball. Had to morph his way around Nupo's car, so no clean counterattack. What was Nush thinking here? I mean, I, I don't know why he doesn't believe in Nupo. <laughs> what have you seen so far that makes you not believe that Nupo's getting to that ball? I mean, the only reason why you turn back, I guess you think Nupo's going to go to the ground, and oh, I'm going to punish him, I'm going to you know surprise him, but... 
obviously, it's a very all-in play, and Nupo's the kind of guy who can see you turn in and then use his flip if he wasn't going to. Nupo gonna launch this one to the backboard. Oh my goodness, Nush back up to make the save before Nupo can get the double. And Nush will race into the midfield and steal it. Now he has himself a great advantage. He needs to rush the shot though, so Nupo doesn't get a full recovery. Nush goes to the ceiling for a reset. Fakes the flick, goes low, but it pops the ball maybe even higher than he meant to. He might have been trying to fully kill it to go low, and if he did, he would have scored. But he put some height on it, and Nupo able to make the save. Preds to Nupo for an insane save and a recovery save here. But it looked like Nush had finally gotten his window. Nupo rushes his way back to the ball and prevents the shot. Now Nush going low again. Nupo makes sure to cover it. Was a little bit ahead of the ball, so couldn't get an immediate flick on that. Had to instead pop the ball, but he controls it in for a goal anyways. Nupo sends it soaring and fakes the touch like he's going up quickly. Rotates back down for a catch and then flick. And Nush is caught washing. Nupo, that was not the kickoff. <laughs> and that is just what you get with the wild speed of Nupo. <laughs> Sometimes he'll just fly away from the ball as well. Nupo, a kickoff win. Seems like he wants to go to the side wall, but he's not gonna be given that time. Nush closes the distance, forces him to make a play early. Full field pinch attempts. Nush, who was at the midfield at the time of the setup, had to have known that could be coming. Nupo goes to the ceiling, just takes this one away. It was supposed to be a setup for Nush. Nupo hard pre-jumps it, attacks, and is first to touch the ball. But it does cost him all of his boost, and so now he's scrambling back as Nush just prepared to try and counterattack him after he landed, but he wasn't able to do so. Nupo now gets a demo to get a possession. 46 boost to work with on this dribble. He again tries to go for one of those 50s, this time wheel side. Nush gets a decent enough save. Only 20 boosts left over. Will pick up the back corner 100. Faked like he was going to take the dribble in the air, but lost the dribble on the ground. I don't think he wanted that ball to fall off his car and lose the bounce. Really took away a ton of options. Now Nupo, he just gets multiple resets like it's no big deal. This time he goes way high and almost enabled the counterattack, but no shoots high. Nupo, I mean, this is just what you get with him. <laughs> he wants to be on the ball. He wants to play all over and he refuses to slow down. A zero boost jump. He used all his boost to come in and out of the net attack the ball, pre-jump way before he got there, and then flip into it. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to make that work. And Nupo was not able to do it this time. Notice the fake flick. Ooh, went for the wave dash, land, and then tried to bump Nupo, but Nupo got around all of it. And will extend the lead, six to three. It's not a best of five, but man, does it feel like this is a must win game for Nush if he wants to stick around in this series. Ball to air dribble. Oh, he's freestyling. <laughs> he's freestyling. He is just grabbing resets that I would argue don't give a ton of competitive advantage, but he just wants to show off. And Nush may be trying to get some as well. Nupo looking for that pinch he's been looking for all series long. Doesn't get it. Let's just send it into the corner for Nush, who actually took way too strong of a first touch. And Nupo could have taken that away from him. Nush, what a fake. <laughs> Not enough to score, though. And every second, winding down off the clock. It's closer to what feels like the inevitable Nupo win. This pinch off the top of Nusha's car will hit the ceiling and land in. 7-3 with 40 seconds. Tomorrow you want TRK versus Nupo. We'll have to see if TRK has interest in playing. I may be able to stream tomorrow, but I also might not. We'll have to see. Nupo, soft first touch, waits until he's at the defender in order to get the next one to try and outplay him, but credit to Nush for still getting that save. Nupo's going to pre-jump this, <laughs> and there's just nothing Nush could do. It's so insane how far Rocket League has come 
where Nupo just knows that Nush has no other choice. And you think, well, why did Nush hit it into him? And it's like, if you're going to play in the air at all, which was the best choice, was to play in the air, then apparently there's nothing you can do. And, you know, Nupo's going to cover it. So I don't know. It's, it's really tough. It's just a crazy world that we live in now with these super early pre-jumps. Nupo with an 8-3 victory. He may have dropped a game, but he's cleaned it up since. And Nush on his last life in this best of seven. Game seven. Nush and Nupo. Nush able to show one dominant game, but since then it has been all Nupo, and Nush thought he could get away with faking the ball here. But surprise, surprise, Nupo has elected to play aggressively and is directly on top of the ball. Maybe a surprise for Nush, but probably not a surprise for the audience too much. Who knows how Nupo likes to play and how he's been playing the series. Nupo another kickoff win as he looks to set up maybe not a wall to air dribble. Saw Nush on the side wall, decides instead to go for a low bouncing dribble. Can't bump Nush. Has him in net on low boost now. We'll just flick it directly at him. Actually, I said he had low boosts. He does not. He has 71. More than enough to deal with. And now he will start a dribble of his own. Oh, he's trying to get saucy with it. The 180 pop does get cut off by Nupo. Again, that pinch that Nupo desperately wants. Nush, this is what we need to see. You know, Nush is going to make his way back. He needs to start. Oh! I. I mean, it was closer, close enough that I figured he should probably, like, dunk it or, or stick around, right? The fact that he drove away, I guess it didn't matter. Nupo's nowhere near the play. But, anyways, as I was saying, Nush needs to start expecting those early challenges and making the kind of plays that can get around him, like that quick hook shot. Now we're watching Nush defend here, going to the back wall. He took ball cam off there for a moment. He's able to make the save as Nupo loses possession and is unable to steal the boost. So Nush will go back the other way. He wants a pinch. He has to use this flip early because he sees Nupo coming to challenge. And if he waits to go to the ground, it's just going to be a clean take from Nupo. Now a single jump into a pop. These fake challenges from Nupo might be the recipe to secure the series as Nush starts to react to his early challenges. A couple fakes could be all that he needs to finish it out. Nush starting his dribble so far away like he's freestyling. He's going to get a 50 here on the goal line. No. I mean, there's really no need to be 360ing so far away. But that is what's so fun about both these guys. They seem to show that style can work out as function as well. Nush back off into the corner. He should be able to grab the midfield 100 as well. Try to stop this ball from rolling back. He's not going to be able to stop its momentum without trading all of his boost for it. He's going to be able to get the steal, take it into the corner, pre-flip demo. Has to flip back for the 100, so Nush will have time to respawn. A 1-1 game as Nupo again goes for 50s, this time on the ground. Nush not going to be able to get back and get the save. Nush faking like he's going to go up to meet Nupo, but ultimately staying grounded, trying to get a challenge off the tail end of his car with a side flip. That's exactly what Nupo is trying to bait him into doing so he can win those 50s and get follow-ups. He was doing it earlier in the air. Now he's willing to do it on the ground. Nice flick by Nush. The backflip so he can follow up the double. Oh, he just got too excited. He wanted to rush it quickly, or I shouldn't say excited. He knew Nupo was coming back. He tried to get as perfect of a shot as possible and went a bit too high. Fortunately for him, he does get the follow-up as Nupo resets on some pads and tries to defend off the wall. Unable to get the stop. That just goes to show how much respect Nush has for Nupo's recoveries. That he didn't just, you know, put that dead center of the net. Like he, he tried to sneak it in, crossbar down with as much power as possible because he felt if he didn't, Nupo was gonna be back. He was pretty much right. 
but he has a lead here in game number five. Nush. That would have been a nice pass to himself if he had any boost to work with. Instead, he forces Nupo back. Nush going to the ceiling. Nupo reacts to that by having the ball fall far from the net. Forcing Nush back down to the ground. And I wonder if Nush would have been better off staying aggressive. Maybe he doesn't want to play into Nupo's game. But it feels like it's even tougher to sit back and react to Nupo. Sometimes you have to bring the game to him. Or really just to anybody at the level of Nupo. Oh, Nupo. <laughs> Red, this ball headed up into the corner and pre-jumped it. Wasn't able to get any follow-up touches, though, so Nush will take to the skies on his attack. He has zero boost left over, and he doesn't need any more. He goes all in on this aerial. If he does not connect, it's a Nupo counterattack. He is not protecting the ball at all. And he is falling into the net, but he trusted in himself, and that's what you need to do if you're going to get a big win against a player like Nupo. He's got himself a lead again. Nupo tapping this ball around him. He's going to try and recover on the pads back to net. Nupo has the reset. Goes low. It's so tough for Nush. This is why you do not go to the midfield if you lose the race to the boost, or if you can tell you're going to lose the race to the boost. Nush lost it there heavy. And there was no coming back from it. Big kickoff win. Nupo almost faked like he was going for the corner boost because if he did, then Nush could just take an immediate power shot. And it almost seemed like Nupo was trying to bait him into taking that power shot directly into his control. Either way, Nush read it and instead was forced to just take a nothing dribble towards the net. And Nupo gains possession and flicks it over the top of Nush. Now Nupo looking to close out the series. Has a one goal lead. Three flips to clear this ball to the midfield. We'll beat Nush to the ball here. Can he get a read off the wall? No. He'll tap it back down in, allow Nush to recover, but Nush is in such a tough spot. Nupo has been pulling the strings perfectly. Nush has this save. Is he in it on the net? Wait, he's just boxed him out and prevented him from getting back to the ball. Nush just barely gets out from under the bump, and then he's going to go back and save that. <laughs> but Nupo says no. No, 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 no. I'm getting in your way. You're stuck here. I will not allow you to keep that from falling in. So Nush down two. As he booms one to the corner, he's going to have to find a way to score here. And that touch wasn't it. Lupo will clear it away. Oh, he's trying to get saucy with it. The 360 power slide doesn't lead to a goal. He doesn't quite get the demo as he sends the ball back to his own half. Little camera check to see what is he dealing with as far as Nush. Is Nush going to come meet him on the wall or... So headed back. Doesn't really matter as long as Nupo's in control of the ball like he is right now. Nush is going to take him so much boost to play keep away here, so he will land with nothing and have no chance to follow up. So Nush able to get a game, and he kept a couple of them close, but Nupo showing why he was the favorite coming into the match, and he will win the best of seven. For some reason, my message didn't go in. I'm going to get it in before they leave. Thanks for playing. Nupo. We'll end the Nush streak with a 4-1 win in the best of seven.